In lesson two, we consider the probability generating functions for our standard distributions, so our standard discrete distributions, binomial, geometric, Poisson, and negative binomial. So for each of the four standard discrete probability distributions, um, we have a particular probability generating function. Uh, you do get these all in the formula booklet in the same place as all the other information is regarding the four main discrete distributions, um, but you may be asked to derive them. Okay, um, so we'll look at their use and their derivations in uh, the remaining content. So first of all, if we look at a binomial, so binomial distribution uh, parameters n and p, then uh, our result for our probability generating function will be uh, q, where q is one minus p plus pt to the n. That's our formula that's given in the formula booklet that you can just quote and use, unless the question obviously asks you to derive the result. So in our example one, we've got uh, Dave and Tim playing snooker. Um, we have um, X represents the number of times that he pots the black. So a number of times that Dave pots the black. So we've got a, a binomial, um, three trials, probability of success 0.8. So to write down the probability generating function, we can literally just substitute our uh, n and p values into your standard formula, um, quotable from the formula booklet. So your probability generating function for this situation will be 0.2 plus 0.8 t all to the power of three. So just subbing values into the quotable results. Now in part two, we've been asked to do that same process, but from first principles. Okay, so this basically means we've got to derive the result from scratch rather than just quote the, uh, quote the standard result. Okay, so let's work through uh, the thinking here. So we can start by using our general definition of a probability generating function that is equal to the probabilities multiplied by t uh, to the power of x. So if we start by setting up a probability distribution for our binomial, so in this case x can be 0, 1, 2, or 3, use our knowledge of the binomial to write down the um, calculations for the probabilities. And then set that up in the form of a probability generating function rather than a probability distribution. So writing it as a probability generating function, we've deliberately not calculated our probabilities as yet, so we can spot patterns in our working. So in our second line of working here, if we just bring t uh, inside the brackets in each case, so we take the t that was sitting outside of our bracket uh, and put it inside the bracket um, here then um, the knack to the um, first principles process for the binomial distribution is then to recognize that the expansion that we've got on this line is equivalent to uh, the this bracket cubed, okay? Once you know that that's what you're looking for, um, then it's sort of much quicker and easier to um, be able to spot. Uh, that connection. Okay, so it's something that you've got to kind of look for with the binomial that that line is equivalent to that expansion. So it's useful to know what you're aiming for um, so that you can kind of look for uh, that result or that connection. Okay, but that's the idea behind the first principles. You set up your uh, probability generating function, you just rewrite it slightly so you can recognize it as a um, a sort of binomial bracket um, to the power of three. 